Hello everyone and welcome to our 7.1 through 7.4 quiz review. The first set of directions says to write down the formulas and that's exactly what you're going to want to do whenever you get your quiz because these will not be given. The first formula you need to know is the sum of the interior angles. The sum of the interior angles is going to be n minus 2 times 180. And remember that n just represents the number of sides of a polygon, number of sides. So obviously if it's a triangle, three, if it's a pentagon, five, etc. Okay, so if that is the formula for the sum, then what is the formula for the measure of one interior angle if it is a regular polygon? If it is a regular polygon, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do n minus two times 180, just like you did to find the sum, but we're gonna take that and we're gonna divide that by the number of sides in the shape, so divided by n. Okay, the next one says, what is the sum of the exterior angles. Now this one's an easy one. The sum of the exterior angles of a polygon, any polygon, is always, always, always going to be 360 degrees. And so that just means that the measure of one exterior, if it's regular, it's going to be that sum, which is 360. And you're going to take that sum and you're going to divide it by the number of sides. So those are our formulas that we need to know and that we will need to know for these next few problems. So the next set of directions says solve for the indicated values. So number five says it's a 50 gone, and we wanna find the sum of the interior and the sum of the exterior. Sum of the exterior is always, always, always going to be 360, so I don't even have to think about that that hard. But for the sum of the interior, I'm gonna do n minus two, so that's gonna be 50 minus two times 180. That's gonna be a big number, that is gonna be 48 times 180. When I do 48 times 180, I get 8,640 degrees, 8,640 degrees. So that is the sum of the interior angles. The sum of the exterior angles is just straight up gonna be 360. So what changes when I move on and I go to a 21 gone? All that changes is I go from a 50 gone to a 21 gone, so I change N to 21. So 21 minus two times 180. Remember, we discovered this formula. We said that gives you the number of triangles. So 21 minus 2 would give you 19 triangles times 180 degrees in each triangle. That gives me a sum of 3,420 degrees for my interior angle sum. For my sum of exterior, that's still going to be 360. So you're going to notice a pattern here. It's always going to be 360 for the sum of the exterior. Okay, this next one's a little bit harder because they don't give me a number, but they do tell me it's a decagon. Think decade is 10 years, so a decagon is going to be when n equals 10. So I'm going to plug that in, 10 minus 2 times 180. So 10 minus 2 is 8, I multiply that by 180. And what is my sum of the exterior? That is going to be 1440. So that is 1440, 1440 degrees. What is still my sum of the exterior? Still 360 degrees. Okay. Hexagon, we could go ahead and copy down the sum of the exterior. It's still going to be 360. What is my number of sides in a hexagon? It is going to be 6. So I plug in 6 minus 2 times 180. And I get, that is 4 times 180. And I get 720 degrees for the sum of the interior angles. All right. So that is for the sums. Now what we're gonna look at is regular polygons. Notice on every single one of these problems, it says regular, regular. You can only use these formulas for these next few for if it's a regular polygon, okay? So how many sides are in a dodecagon? In a dodecagon, n is gonna be equal to 12. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do, um, our formula is going to be 12 minus two times 180. And then we're gonna divide that by 12. So 12 minus two times 180. We take 1800 and divide that by 12. One interior angle in all of the interior angles, each of them will be 150 degrees. So you can say the measure of one or the measure of each or the measure of an interior would be 150. What we're gonna do to find the exterior is we're gonna take um, 360 and we're gonna divide it by the number of exterior angles, which will be 12. Same thing as the number of sides. 360 divided by 12 is going to give me 30 degrees. Now I want you to notice that these should always have a sum, 150 and 30, those together are always gonna have a sum of 180. The reason that makes sense is if you have an interior angle that's 150, when it's next to the exterior angle, so there's my interior, 
here's my exterior, when it's next to it, those are gonna make a linear pair. So together, 150 and 30 should add up to 180. So that's just a really good way to check this entire section. That should be the case on every single one of these problems. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. What is a regular heptagon? Well, in a heptagon, that is going to be a seven-sided figure. So that's gonna be seven minus two times 180 and I'm gonna divide that by seven. So when you do that, it's gonna be seven minus two, it's five times 180, gives me a sum of 900, and I wanna divide that by seven angles total. I'm gonna to round that, I think it says, uh, this says to round the nearest 10th, it does not, so I'm gonna add that just set of directions. We're gonna to round to about the nearest 10th here. So that is going to give me for one interior, that is gonna be about 128, Point, we'll round that to 0.6 to the nearest tenth, 128.6 degrees. So what is going to be the measure of an exterior? That's going to be 360 divided by 7. 360 divided by 7 is going to be about 51.4. 51.4 degrees. So about 51.4. So you can tell that these are rounded. I'm either going to change this to the little approximately symbol just to show that these are rounded. Okay. Together those do add up to 180 degrees. All right, a triangle, one interior angle of a regular triangle. Now, that just means equilateral, or um, so that's going to be our regular one. So triangle, obviously, n is equal to three. But let's, let's show that the formula works. That's going to be three minus two times 180 divided by three. So that's gonna be 180 divided by three. That is going to give me 60 degrees. So if you think about it, in an equilateral triangle, we already know that all the angles are gonna be 60 degrees. Okay, 60 degrees each. So what is an exterior angle gonna be? 360 divided by three is going to give me 120 degrees for our exterior angle. And those of course do add up to 180 together, the 60 and the 180, or the 120 add up to 180. All right, the last one in the section, a 20 gone, that is going to be 20 minus two, that gives me 18 triangles, times 180 in each of those triangles divided by 20. So that's gonna be uh, a sum of 3,240 divided by 20 is going to give me 162 degrees for my interior angle. If that is my interior angle, what is my exterior? My exterior is gonna be 360 divided by 20. 360 divided by 20 is of course going to give me that supplement, which is going to be 18 degrees. So the exterior angle is 18 degrees. All right, the last one, and I'm gonna pause here on this video, the measure of the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 30. So not the number of sides, but the actual measure of an exterior angle is 30. What is the measure of an interior angle? So the measure, remember that the measure of the interior plus the measure of the exterior is always gonna add up to 180. So we're gonna say exterior plus interior, let me write that a little bit better, exterior plus interior equals 180. So if my exterior is 30, another way to say that is equals 30, that's going to be 30 plus my interior equals 180. So what is the supplement of 30? It's going to be 150 degrees. So the measure of the interior angle is gonna be 150. How do I figure out my number of sides? Well, we know that my formula is 360 divided by N gives me my angle. So that's gonna be equal to 30. So I can just put this over one and cross multiply. When I cross multiply, I get 30N equals 360, and then I wanna just divide by 30 on both sides. So 360 divided by 30, that is going to be a proportion that we're solving. That gives me that the number of sides is going to be equal to 12. So number of sides is 12. My, so there's N, I wanted to get N by itself. Number of sides is equal to 12, and my measure of my interior angle is 150. You could check this formula and go 12 minus two times 180 and then divide it by 12, and that is going to give me 150 as well. So I know that I did that right. My number of sides is 12. The interior angle is 150 degrees.